My name is Liz Manier. I'm assistant professor of consumer research in uh, this faculty of uh, industrial design engineering here in Delft. My research focuses on consumers' acceptance and adoption of circular and sustainable alternatives with a specific focus on the packaging design. In terms of packaging, my feeling is that uh, what's really important when there is an in innovation is whether or not the, the physical appearance of the package changes. Um, and if it doesn't change, yeah, basically for brands to, to get the innovation accepted, that's, that's much easier. <clears throat> the challenge is maybe in communicating uh, their innovations and how they did it and why they did it. When the visual appearance of the package does change, mm -hmm. um, it creates much more challenges for brands. Because what we know about packaging appearance is that it helps consumers to categorize products. So what we also know from research is that if the, 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 the visual appearance of the package becomes too atypical, then people um, tend to have more negative evaluations about the, the, the package. And the reason why, it is just that people can't just categorize it correctly. So make sure that the products um, is still perceived as being part of the same category as it was before, and also remain in the same, uh, um, in the same field as the competitors, let's say. For example, there was this brand, in, this brand in the U.S. called Seventh Generation, and they are sen selling uh, laundry detergents. And some time ago, they really released this nice bottle, which was uh, a shell made of um, recycled paper with a plastic liner inside. And the appearance really changed, and yeah, for some reasons, it started to sell a bit less, so then they went back to their plastic bowl, for example. Next to the visual appearance, I think it's very important for brands to keep in mind that they have to uh, still keep the usual functions of the packaging yeah, either constant or even improved. When I'm talking about usual functions, I'm talking about ease of use or convenience, for example. Also important when you change the, the appearance of a package to really uh, monitor what what are the the inferences that consumer make based on the on the package design. And I wanted to talk maybe about this um, this bottle introduced by Heineken in France uh, in a cafes and a restaurant. It's called the Fobo bottle, and uh, it stands for forwardable bottle. And it's part of their uh, efforts to make their packages more circular. So um, the, the bottles in a cafe and a restaurant, the Horeca, they are returnable most of the time, which, yeah, is a nice thing, but there is, um, there is also an inconvenience to that, is that the bottles, they get damaged, they get scratched, they get less shiny, and uh, we know that consumers uh, f find these signs of wear and tear uh, Okay, but they also uh, use this science to create inference about yeah. the product itself, so the quality of the product. So they wanted to count counteract this uh, using design um, and by creating a bottle that would just age beautifully. So the more you use it, the more the, the star that's on the package uh, becomes beautiful. They also have a unique code and a date on the package and uh, with this code users or consumers are able to leave their story online and the next consumers are able to just retrieve these stories and listen to it and it just creates a nice story about the bottle and makes the, the returning system more, uh, more attractive for, for, for consumers.